time for an adventure. Can't can't wait. Go. No, already opening wrong menus. Go, quick. I don't have enough time. No, I don't know. Um, this is going to be one of those videos. I can already tell you that without uh, even starting it. Um, by that, I basically mean it's going to be kind of... <laughs> I'm going to try to get as much stuff done as possible, but that doesn't mean that most of it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm coming here first because... Wait, this is the Pokatch place, right? No, this is the TV studio. Get out of here, we don't need any of that crap. Um, where is the Pokatch place? Is this it? No. I'm like, that is actually what that is, right? Okay. <clears throat> There's a few apps on here I wanted to get, because I you have to check back every once in a while. Um, but basically what I need to do is check the areas that you can reach with the, uh, with Waterfall. Because what I did off screen before this was um, I deleted Rock Smash off of Becky and taught Waterfall. I am still going to need more, uh, need Rock Smash, but until I have something else with Surf, I still need to keep Surf on there, so whatever. Um, so there's not too many Waterfalls from what I remember. I do want to check all of them out. I have to get the wave incense, and then we can start breeding Mantikes, and then we have to get it up from uh, newly hatched level 1 all the way up to level 50, which, um, even off screen is going to be freaking awful. Like, obviously you don't have to sit through any of the pain of that, but I do, and I don't particularly want to, but it's got to get done. So anyway, what did I actually get out of that? I haven't really looked at these in a while. Here's my list of caught crap. There's a counter, analog clock, marking map thing, which actually reminds me I can start going after the other legendaries now too. Um, not necessarily going to do that yet though. This is just to see if there's other people playing nearby. There's coin flip. I believe that thing is useful for advancing the RNG, but I don't know anything about that. Type matchup, which is useful if you don't have them all memorized, which I still really don't. Like, let's see, bug versus ground. I seriously never remember this one. Oh, wait, I already passed it. Okay, so bug versus ground is neutral. Ground versus bug is not very, I think. Yeah, it's weird. I never remember that one. Here's a calendar. Here's a thing that shows that things are compatible, and there we go. But anyway, let me uh, move on. Let's see, the first thing I should probably do is actually get the wave incense, so let me head up there, because it is on this uh, foggy route. I think that's it right there, actually. There's not really that many waterfalls from what I can remember. There's this one here. There's one in Mount Coronet, which I do have to come back for um, because of that one area anyway. The place with, like, the, uh, you know, the big square room that kind of, like, goes down in the center and didn't end up leading to anything because it was blocked off. I should be able to get in there now. So I'm going to check that out. Um... I'm trying to think where the heck any other waterfalls are, because there's really no other ones that come to mind, though I'm sure they exist somewhere. Maybe, like, in some obscure cave section, I'd... I'll eventually look over, like, Poke Earth and see, like, the list of required HMs and just check all the areas and make sure there isn't anything I missed, but, uh, whatever it is I am missing is not likely to be all that great anyway. There might be a TM or two hidden out there, but uh, the main TM I'm interested in at this point is uh, Thunder Wave, and I looked that one up. You can't actually get it until you have a... Uh, like, you have to buy it from the Battle Frontier, which is complete crap, so... Not really looking forward to that one. Um, well, more accurately, I'm not going to get that one, and I'm irritated by this, because I would like to have it on somebody, but I don't think there's anything else in this route that I need, so let's head off. Um, so I'm thinking from beginning to end, I don't think there's any waterfalls here, but I'm gonna, or no, I know for sure there's not any here, 
There might be up here. I'm going to check. I don't think there is, though. Let's see. There's a small lake and a little river thing. Can you even get in the water here? I actually don't even think you can. No. Okay, so definitely nothing there. Uh, there's no waterfall in the beginning section of Mount Coronet. There is at the top of it, which I'm going to come back for later. Don't think there's any other ones around these areas. So yeah, that that's pretty much it then. Because um, there's none in the snowy area either. And I don't think there's any down here. So if there are any other ones, I'll find out later. Um, not too concerned about it now, but go ahead and head up that mountain again. You don't really need to see the return trip, so I'll cut as soon as I get there. But we'll see what is in the... Uh, Newly accessible area, I guess, so yeah. I'll be back in a second. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. I lied. There's a waterfall right here. And here I am breaking a rock that very clearly does not read to the waterfall. So, I'm uh, already showing off my intelligence there. So I could have sworn there was another one somewhere, I just didn't remember where it was. Okay, whatever you are. Hope you're worth it. Are you a TM? No. I really, really don't care about vitamins at this point. Um, where's the... Nope, nothing else at all. Okay, so like I said, cutting when I got there. Okay, so there's a waterfall here. Um, I do not remember if this actually leads to anything of use, but we're going to check it out anyway. All I know is that in this room, if you uh, have the super rod, you can catch uh, Dratini and I believe Dragonair also. But since I don't have the super rod and you won't get it until the post game, this is not important to me. So here's a stone plate in case you're into that sort of thing. And I believe, yeah, these are the Dialga Palkia orbs, so... Now that we've ruled these out as being the uh, things hidden inside that other cave, I really have to just wonder what is in that other cave, but we'll find out in a few minutes, I guess. Um, collecting those orbs is important towards uh, actually catching Dialga and Palkia later, because they won't appear unless you have them for some reason. So, you do have to go and get those. Um, the orbs themselves are just uh, type boosting items, I believe. Let me look at the description just in case. Yeah, basically they boost the stab moves of them. Um, I don't know by how much, if it's by 20 or if it's more than that. I don't think I've ever seen them as recommended held items for those, but I've never really cared enough to check either, so... It's not one of those things like the uh, Soul do where if you use a Soul Dew on Latios or Latias, it becomes, like, ridiculously powerful, and it's actually better than the Mega Stone. These are just kind of little things, which, uh, I imagine when slash if they do the Gen 4 remakes, which I still feel is not necessary, but it's probably going to happen eventually. Um, those uh, will probably be repurposed into some kind of weird thing that triggers, like, primal forms, just like the orbs did in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Because they like doing that kind of crap, and, I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's a power creep. Everything's slowly just getting more and more broken until eventually every Pokemon is, like, the same level as Arceus, but... I don't know. Aren't, uh... I think Black and White Curum are already, like, almost on par with it, if not exactly. I'm, try I'm, I'm thinking, like, in terms of base stat total. I don't think they hit 720, do they? I don't remember. I know that uh, Mega Mewtwo and uh, Mega Rayquaza surpass it, though. Okay, so we can finally get into that place. Let's find out what's in it. Is it going to be a single piece of fruit? Because... I've already been, uh, burned by that once before. It has different music. Dragon Claw, okay. Uh, 
Or he might be able to learn that. Doesn't mean I necessarily want to teach it, but I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Uh, no. And I doubt any of the other Pokemon that I had a slash might be getting soon will be able to learn it either, so not too concerned about that. Oh. That was all that led to, really? That was kind of stupid. Okay, so that entire thing was just for the Dragon Claw TM, and then it just leads back to uh, this place. Alright, that was a little bit uh, underwhelming. And I don't really have any need to go to the top of Mount Coronet for anything yet, because I don't think I can do anything there until the post game. So, uh, while I'm thinking about it though, let me check this out. And yes, I know I could have just walked there. Bite me. Does this show pictures? No. Um, for the national decks, you do have to see Dialga and Palkia, and I, the only way to see them is like from the book in here or something, or like she shows you the pictures. That must be after you beat the Elite Four, though. All right, so. Uh, having done everything else of note, I guess let's begin the breeding process here. I've got my Mantine. I've got the Wave Incense. We can finally get started on this crap. Let me, uh, get that set up, and then there will be a long period of off-screen breeding, and then hatching, and then checking natures, and all that good stuff that we've already gone through multiple times, but it has to be done one more time. If I could actually place things where I want to, that would be beautiful. Okay. So I got them, and where is the way of incense? There it is. Okay. So, uh, see you in a bit once this is ready, then. And here we go. Um, I've got the five eggs, just need to withdraw them, hatch them, and see if we, uh, got lucky here. So I uh, have prepared a list of things that I would like. Um, whether I actually get any of these obviously is completely up to luck, so we can only hope. Um, Mantike can get two possible abilities, Swift Swim and Water Absorb. I don't plan on running Rain Dance at all, so Water Absorb is going to be the one to go with. Um, Looking at stats, I want something that either boosts special attack or lowers physical attack. Um, defenses, I'll take it as I need to. Um, Mantike is naturally very good in special defense and kind of middle of the road in physical defense. Like, it's physical defense is 50, which if we're talking about normal Pokemon would be a horrible stat, but for baby Pokemon that's about normal. It's uh, 45 HP, 20 attack, 50 defense, 60 special attack, 120 special defense, 50 speed. So a lot of its stats are kind of in the middle. Obviously higher special def and lower physical attack. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I need is just the ability and a nature that kind of works with me. I would prefer a male just to... Uh, balance out the gender ratio on the team, but it doesn't matter in the slightest, really, so whatever. The name I have planned for it is gender neutral anyway. But, uh, only got one more to hatch, and then we'll be able to see what we've got here. I like how these are actually hatching in order. That was not intended. Um, what I do with these egg sections off screen is I'll basically bike until it's, like, one up and down cycle away from hatching or like a few steps away I'll, I'll it's kind of it's not precise at all but I'll do that and then I'll stick it in the PC and then continue until I have all five in there but let's see what we've got uh, three females two males looking only at natures or looking only at abilities we got water absorb swift swim swift swim swift swim swift swim Okay, I hope the first one is good then. Um, let me make sure they actually have the moves I want. It's got signal beam, that's the only thing I really care about. Um, 
Gonna teach it Ice Beam through the TM. Gonna probably teach it Surf. Last move, I don't know yet. Okay, this one is relaxed. I don't know what that one is. We've got Calm, which I'm pretty sure is a defensive nature. Serious, which is neutral, because we've already had a number of those. Jolly, which is the opposite of what I want, because that's a uh, lower special attack. And Quiet, which I don't know. So, um... Usually I do this part off screen, but screw it, I'm just gonna frickin' do it right here and be completely unprofessional about it. Let's, uh, look up natures. What does relaxed do? Relaxed is plus defense minus speed. That's, uh, not particularly what I want, but okay. Calm is... Special defense up, attack down. That is not bad at all. It's too bad it's coming on Swift Swim. Um, am I going to get hit with water moves, though? That's the thing. Like, I'd like to have an ability that I'm going to actually use. But, uh... Eh. Serious, we already know. Jolly, we already know. Quiet is plus special attack minus speed. So Quiet's not too terrible, either. Um, Give me a moment to think this over, and then I'll be back. And I might actually have to hatch some more, because I really wanted Water Absorb, but we'll see. I have reached a decision. Um, it's not a very shocking one. Um, out of all of these, if we're going by nature, I think Calm was the best one, because that was plus Special Defense minus Attack. A um, couple of the other ones were mediocre, and a couple shit ones. Um, and going off of ability, obviously only one had Water Absorb. And once again, unless I run unless I run rain, swift swim is a complete waste of an ability. Water absorb is at least something that has a chance of taking effect at some point. So, since relaxed is a decent enough nature, uh, plus defense minus speed, it boosts its lower defense stat. So, whatever. Like, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. It's the best of the bunch based purely on the ability that it has, and I don't want to hatch more, because I haven't done that with any of the others, so we're sticking with this one, and uh, be prepared to absolutely hate this nickname that I've come up for it, because it's really, really bad. Um, on the rest of the team, we've got a mix of actual names and like weird stuff, and here we just have Flap Flap. Uh, Flap Flap is a really bad Imgur reference, basically. Um, it's, uh, similar to another nickname on a Pokemon that I haven't really mentioned yet. Um, I'll get to probably next time. It's just, Imgur has weird names for animals for some reason, and, uh, Manta Rays are called Majestic Sea Flap Flaps, so we've got Flap Flap. That's what we're sticking with. So let's put away the rejects that can join the rest of the uh, reject babies in this box. Sorry, but you had swift swim, and that was not what I needed. So, there they go. Here's our other rejects, which, like, of which two were pretty solid. Lugosi wasn't terrible, but eh. Terence was kind of one note. I probably could have done more with him with TMs later on, but I'm okay with this team for now. Until I see reason to change it, it's going to be what I'm sticking with. And, um, Elekid is basically out of the question at this point. Like, if something weird happens and I get to a point where, like... Oh, actually, hold on, that's not what I need to do. Um, if I get to a point where I, like, desperately need an electric type and I don't want to bring Stacy back in, then maybe, but I don't know who I'd boot out. So, uh, anyway, what I'm doing right now is basically just doing the last couple quick preparations, and then we'll be able to move on and actually do stuff. And by do stuff, I mean fight a bunch of trainers and slowly, slowly grind Flap Flap up to a respectable level. So, um, go in here. We are deleting Surf off of you. 
and reteaching Rock Smash so that you can be my proper HM slave. I don't need you right now, but I will need you eventually. Actually, I might need you on this next route. I think there were things that I didn't get there. So Surf is going to you. I could get rid of Water Pulse, but hey, it's got Bubble. Okay, getting rid of Bubble. It'll carry two water moves for the time being. Oh, and actually, before I forget, let's uh, go ahead and... I think I want Ice Beam. Blizzard's stronger, but 70 accuracy is not really my thing, so yeah, we're going with Ice Beam. And we are never, ever going to use Tackle, so there we go. Obviously, at level 1, this thing's not going to be fighting anything, but uh, we can at least get it prepared for that. And we'll see what other moves it learns, al learns along the way. Uh, something will eventually be getting rid of Water Pulse, but again, I haven't really looked into what yet. Okay, so now that we're probably a good 15-20 minutes into the video, I really don't know because this is the third segment, so I don't know how long the other ones were. Now we can finally start doing stuff. Um, let me get you out. Keeping you for HM reasons. Actually, you should not be in the front, because uh, I'm just going to give you an experience share. Okay, whatever, that'll be fine. Just get somebody who isn't a level 50 in the front here. Come on. I, I already said I was done with this shit. I want to freaking move on. Okay. Will I get completely destroyed by the trainers on this route? Let's find out. See, there's a Pokeball right there, which I think I'm very capable of getting. I just, for some reason, haven't. Oh, and he looks the other way. So no double battle for me. Oh boy. Whatever, I can take it. Okay, so now that all that crap is out of the way, um, time to go into the next Pokemon team to talk about. Um, brief side mention here. I skipped over a couple uh, that were not really needed to... I'll take Supersonic. Actually, no, screw it. Supersonic's what? 55 accuracy, Water Pulse is like maybe 30% chance of confusing. If I really need the confusion, I'm sticking with Water Pulse. So yeah. Um, I was starting to say a couple quick uh, playthroughs I didn't mention. Way back in... Let me scroll up. Hold on. I've got this freaking document of all my Pokemon teams. It was... October 2008. Um, I did a... Oh, hi, Mantic. I didn't know it was you. Um, back in October 2008, I did a very quick uh, playthrough of Blue version on a ROM uh, using nothing but Mew. Um, I named the Mew Mario. As you may remember, the reason I had this thing was because, uh, or I did this, was uh, back in the old Mario 64 uh, coinless capless cannonless challenge, I had like a few stars saved for the end of the game that I considered the Elite Four because they were difficult, and I had like this uh, stupid little thing at the beginning of those episodes where I'd like go to fight the Elite Four member and it was just kind of like an intro to the video. Um, and so, because I had to get that footage from somewhere, that is why I went through it with Mew, just to kind of blast through the game. And uh, similarly, there was another Mew playthrough from uh, sometime last summer, I believe. I don't feel like scrolling down in the list to look it up. Okay, sticking with you for right now. Oh, Fling, okay. But no, I'm going to scroll down anyway. It was in... Yeah, July 2015. I did another playthrough with only Mew. Uh, this one was actually done in a stream. Um, it's archived on Hitbox if anybody wants to watch it. It was a uh, Patreon thing that uh, ended up not going on YouTube because it was... God damn it. Okay, I guess I'm coming back with Cut. I forgot that I didn't have Cut. But yeah, it was done as like a Patreon reward thing, but then it was never uploaded because he didn't like the way it came out. So it's on there, but it's 
it whatever. That one I named Mew Arnold because the back sprite of Mew looks like it has a tumor, but it's not a tumor, so that was my uh, reasoning for that name. So moving on to an actual playthrough that uh, is worth some shit. Um, the next one in line was uh, X, which, as I've talked about before, I played through Y and Bruna had X version, but didn't really want to continue with it for whatever reason. I think there were just a few parts where the game kind of dragged and she never got past it. Um, attempted a second run of that with like a team of stuff that I bred specifically and it didn't run, it didn't work out either, so whatever. I cleared out everything of value out of that game, um, started playing it myself, and my gimmick for this playthrough, which for the record, if this sounds familiar, it's because I have talked about this back in uh, Luigi's Adventure. But uh, the gimmick for this playthrough is I wanted to use one Pokemon from every uh, region. So just basically, you've got Kanto, Johto, etc. Just six different Pokemon. And um, I was originally planning this out as like, I just want to use a bunch of interesting stuff that I've not used before. Maybe get some Megas in there. And then I couldn't really narrow down the team because there was a lot of stuff I wanted to use, and I just, I couldn't really pick what I wanted, so I'm like, you know what, half the stuff that I want to use is actually really bad, so why don't I just do a playthrough of nothing but bad stuff? So that's what I decided on, is um, basically put together the worst Pokemon from each generation, with certain exceptions, um, and make a team out of it and see how well it goes. Uh, the rules of this team were no unknown, because unknown is definitely the worst of Gen 2, but it only has one move and I can't really do anything with it. It makes it challenging, sure, but it's not going to be interesting. Like, it basically comes down to, like, find the hidden power type that I want, and then never be able to do anything but that, so, yeah, it's not really interesting. So no unknown, and I also didn't really want to repeat types, so, um... Certain stuff like Farfetch'd, Ledian, uh, I'm trying to think of other ones offhand. I don't know. Basically, there was a lot of, well, I think like Cricketune and just various stuff here and there. Like, I wanted to use bad stuff, and those definitely fit the bill, but um, I didn't want to repeat types, and so I kind of had to make, I had to maybe not use the worst of each generation in each case, and eventually came out with the six that I did. So, for Gen 1, I have Ditto. Um, I've already used Ditto before, but it was the one with its uh, hidden ability, where it automatically transforms, um, which makes it actually kind of good. Uh, regular Limber Ditto that na needs to spend a turn to transform is not exactly very good. Um, so, I went with that one. It does suck. <laughs> like, that's the thing with, with the Ditto. It's basically, whenever you're fighting anything, you're basically spending a turn to get hit by it, like, take some unnecessary damage just to become a weaker version of whatever you're fighting. I say weaker because Transform doesn't copy their HP stat, and Ditto's is usually going to be lower, and you only have 5 PP on every move, so it's like... You can make it work, but it's not easy, and it usually takes a lot of potions. Um, so that was my Gen 1. Gen 2 I had... Oh, and I forgot, I named it Ladasha. Um, just L-E-A, I think is how I spelled it. Um, I don't really know why. I think it's... I think what happened was back in one of the... Uh, playthroughs I did with Joel with the randomized stuff, there was a ditto that was named like apostrophe dash apostrophe because it's like a ditto face and then we just referred to it as Ladasha after that point, so yeah. Another Gyarados, okay. But uh, that one, uh, I I'm actually not done talking about this ditto yet. I know it it's going on for entirely too long. But uh, because you cannot breed Ditto, and I wanted to use it from the beginning of the game. Like, all this stuff was sent in through Pokebank at the very beginning. Um, since you can't breed it, 
the uh, lowest level that you can possibly find it in Gen 6 is a uh, level 30 in the Friend Safari, and that's still way too high. So uh, what I had to do was uh, start basically going backwards through generations until I found one at a reasonable level, and the lowest you can get it was um, somewhere like in the low teens, I believe, from uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So I had to catch one in that game and then transfer it up to Generations in order to get it into uh, X version. Specifically caught it in a Moon Ball just to be different. But yeah, so that was that one. Gen 2 was a Della Bird. Nicknamed it Bad Santa because it looks like Santa and it's very bad. Um, Della Bird's another one of those things that obviously just is not good in the slightest. Like, it naturally only learns... Uh, present, which is a terrible move, but it at least gets TMs, unlike Unknown, so that's why I stuck with it. I forget what I gave it. It has, like, I think, like, Frost Breath, Aerial Ace. I'd have to look at it. I don't remember. It wasn't horrible, but it's not good either, and the problem is it has the Hustle ability, which, uh, I would have preferred Insomnia, or Vital Spirit, or whichever one it is, but, uh, I was not lucky, and I didn't feel like resetting it, or like getting another one rather. Plus, I, if I'm going to be going with bad Pokemon, I might as well have bad abilities too. So Hustle, if you don't know, um, lowers accuracy and boosts attack. So I tried to make use of that by giving it physical attacks, but the fact that it misses like eight, like 20% of the time is never fun. So that was that one. Uh, Gen 3, I had a Love Disk, uh, specifically a shiny one. And here's the history behind this thing. Um, when I was chain fishing in Y version, I specifically tried to get a love disc just because I wanted one. I don't know why. Um, so I caught one. I named it Heart of Gold. And it kind of just sat in my PC box for a really long time. And then I uh, was going to use it in contests in Omega Ruby. I actually prepared, like, a second contest team for that game. I had the Heart of Gold. I had, um, the Shiny Relicanth, which I named Dryfish. Um, God, I'm trying to remember. In Omega Ruby itself, I had caught a Shiny Minun, which I named Shinun. Um, I had that one. I also caught a Shiny Laron in that game, but I didn't use it for contests. So, there was the Minon, the Love Disc, the Relicanth. I caught a Kecleon, which wasn't shiny or special in any particular way, but just I wanted to use a Kecleon. I named it uh, Camogob, which was a reference to this thing from my D&D uh, &D character, Felana. But uh, that, that starts getting into too much detail. And then there was a uh, Sharpedo named Old Kentucky. Um, I ended up not doing the contest, is what this long story is leading into. So, it sat in that game for a while, didn't get used. And then I'm like, hey, I can use it in this playthrough of crappy Pokemon, that'll be good. So I looked at it, and I wasn't happy with its nature or anything like that. And so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna cast another shiny love disc. So I did, and it was male. And I'm like, no, no, that's not good, I need a female shiny love disc. So I caught another one. So I have three shiny love discs, and I finally got one that I was satisfied with. So I use that one. It sucks. What else is there to say about it? It's a love disc. It has freaking no stats at all. Like, you can kill stuff with it, but it's not easy. Um, don't particularly want safeguard. Don't particularly want agility either. Okay. So, um, Gen 4, Worm Adam. I named it Cookie Dough. Um, it's specifically the, uh, let me go heal, actually. Hold on. Nope, never mind, not healing. Uh, it's specifically Sandy Worm Adam, the ground type, because that's my favorite of the three. I actually wanted to use that way back in Pearl, but didn't because it sucked too bad. Um, so I used one of those. I named it Cookie Dough because that's kind of what it looks like. It's uh, surprisingly not terrible. It's actually one of the better ones on the team because it has pretty decent defenses, and um, its attack stat isn't great, but... I can at least do damage with it. It has, like, I think Earthquake, Rock Slide, 
possibly Stone Edge instead of Rock Slide, I don't remember which. Um, I think Bug Bite, and I don't remember its fourth move, but uh, it actually kicks a bit of ass. I, I enjoy it. Uh, the next one was uh, Gen 5, I used Lyperd, and you may be thinking, but Lyperd isn't actually bad. My response to this is it has the defense basically of Pichu in this game. Um, but no, and as far as Gen 5 goes, there's actually not that many bad Pokemon in it. It's kind of surprising. Um, the worst that you can get are probably, uh, what the hell is it, um, Watch Hog, which A, I have already used, and B, is really not all that bad, because it at least gets, like, Hypnosis and Super Fang. Um, so there's Watch Hog, there's, like, a few little things here and there, like Maractus, that are just kind of unimpressive. I've already used Maractus also. Um, Lyperd, on the other hand, I knew from uh, experience, and Sprinty used one in black, that uh, it cannot survive anything. It just didn't seem all that impressive in general. It was either that or Odd Dino. I was going to go with the Odd Dino, because it's, uh, I had a shiny one of those also, but it was level 49. So I wasn't going to use that one, and I didn't want to use a non-shiny, so I'm like, screw it, we're going with Lyperd. So I named it Airhead. Um, reason for this one is because in the fanfic Ariana Black, which is a terrible fanfic and definitely worth uh, looking at the sporking of, for the record, um, she's basically just a Mary Sue character in the Harry Potter universe that has like all these mystical empath abilities and is perfect at everything. Like I said, she's basically a Mary Sue. Um, she has the Animagus form of, like, a leopard, and uh, the sporking of that fanfic always calls her Airhead, because it's a very fitting name. So, I called, her, called it Airhead. Um, leopard in that game is pretty much what I expected. It dies very easily, but if I can get it to get off a couple hits, it is usually fairly strong. Looks like I've pretty much cleared out this route. But, um, that leaves me with the last one, which is, uh, Gen 6. I have a Dedenne, or Deden, however you pronounce that. Again, not a horrible Pokemon, but there's not that many bad things in Gen 6, other than, like, maybe Vivalon, which... What the hell? I didn't expect that to be a battle. I don't know why I was actually talking to the Pikachus in retrospect, but I'm glad I did. But, uh, anyway, like I said, Gen 6 doesn't have that many bad things. Vivalon, I think, is actually somewhat decent, plus I already have Worm Adam as my bug and Delibird as my flying, so yeah. Um, so I went with Dedenne, because it was fairly unimpressive. I looked in a few, uh, threads of, like, the worst Pokemon in Gen 6, and it got mentioned quite a bit, so... It was basically between that and Carbank, and Carbank at least has, like, really good defenses, so I could kind of use, like, a stall tactic with it. Um, I decided that Dene was probably the worst of the two. Plus, I wanted to nickname it Little Green, because it's a shitty reference to DBZ Abridged. So, it's probably by a good margin the best member on the team, but uh, it still isn't that impressive. Okay, hold on. Since I have a Remorite, I have to see what this does. And I can also grab a Tropius for cut, and then we'll probably be done here. But uh, to finish up the extremely long freaking story of this playthrough, um, I never did complete it. I uh, Basically what happened was... Oh, I forgot the freaking Remorite. Go me, I'm the best. I, uh, got up to the... I got up to Victory Road and, uh, spent a very long amount of time, uh, EV training everything through the super training thing, uh, trying to get, like, stat spreads that worked in their advantage. Um, then I went through Victory Road and ended with everybody at exactly level 60, so... Um, I'm pointing this out specifically because... With a team of bad things, you might expect me to be, like, highly over-leveled. I'm actually not. Um, the Elite Four in that game seems to run between 62 to 68. 
So I haven't challenged the Elite Four yet because I've been kind of like worried about how well that will go. Probably not very well. Um, and also there's the possibility that I might like either stream it or record it. So we'll see how that goes. Here, here's a pretty big remoride right here. Okay, fine. <laughs> what do you give me? All right, then. That was worthwhile. So that guy has dreams about big fish. I'm not sure what to make of that. But anyways, um, that was uh, that was a video. I think we're at about that time, so I don't really want to go through the next route until um, Flap Flap is leveled up. God, that is seriously the worst nickname, but I don't care. I'm sticking with it. Um, but yeah, I need to grind this thing. I'm not going to do that right now. It's going to take a while. I'll try to get everybody up to 50 because I think they're pretty much all up there anyway. Yeah, there's only a couple that aren't. And uh, then we'll begin the road to victory road, I suppose. And then I will be completely decimated by the Elite Four, and then I'll be sad. But uh, still a little bit before we're there, so... I don't know why I'm delaying the end of this video. Bye.